Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back with a Dollar Tree haul for you. Guys, they just keep pumping out the most amazing things, but this is a pretty small haul and a lot of things in this are tried and true, but I found some things that made me extremely happy. So I'm going to go ahead and show them with, show them to you, share them with you. Guys, they have shirts now, which we all know they have t-shirts there quite often. These are like baseball type shirts. I don't know what you want to call these. So heavy, but they have that like baseball jersey type look to them. And these are by American Apparel. This is a, it, I think it's Sip Woman's. I took the little sticker off. It just says adult tee, but this is a size medium. So I'm assuming this is a man's because this is this is a nice size medium. But I bought it for myself. It won't be long till I can fully dress myself with clothes from the Dollar Tree. They have t-shirts I showed not too long ago, sweatpants, shorts. Now they have these amazing baseball type buttons the whole way down the front. It has kind of a, um. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that very well. I'm sorry for the awkwardness here, but it's kind of like a curved hem. I just thought this would be so comfy. I'm gonna show you the inside. It's almost like a brushed fleece type inside. So nice, short sleeve. This was the only color I found and the only size. But as big as this is, I'm assuming it's a man's but I couldn't pass it up. I got it for myself. I think that's an amazing deal. Let me do the food stuffs real quick first. Well, like I typically do, we found some more of the milk. This is Prairie Farms, and this is the whole milk. Vitamin D, no artificial growth hormones, grade A, one quart, farmer owned. And I believe one of you told me that this is produced very near to where you live and it's amazing and we have tried this before I believe it we got two percent I believe it's in a blue bottle don't quote me on that but this time we found the whole milk this is just so amazing to have on the shelf if you run out of milk and you're making something or your child needs a bowl of cereal you'll have it on the shelf why not and the best buy date is October of 22 so we picked up just one, just to have on the shelf. Why not? Or drink it, <laughs> whatever you need it for. I think it's great, and that is real milk, guys. That's I don't know what kind of magic they do to make it shelf stable like that, but it's real milk. And always check, or does this, oh, I about had a heart attack there because it kept going. These with the Prairie Farms, the lid does, the cap does come off, and it has one of those pull tabs to pull it out. There's another brand out there that the cap is the actual seal, and you don't want to twist it too far. If it keeps twisting, you know somebody has tampered with it. If it kind of re gives you resistance, it's okay, but that's not this brand. This Prairie Farms actually has the pull tab on the inside. Oh, I was thinking, oh no. Somebody got into that, but we're okay. To go with milk, I just picked up this. I was so hungry for Oreos when we were in the store, saw this, threw it in the cart, had all intentions of having a little pack right then after we left the store, and I didn't. It is still, it's still sealed. So now I'm past the urge for an Oreo, so I don't know if, you know, maybe one day I'll have couple of these with a hot cup of coffee or I don't know they'll get eaten I'm sure they're Nabisco's Oreo we all know and you get four packs in here of two cookies per pack so in these I know it's probably not the best deal in the world but it keeps me in check so it works for me and they're Oreos do they make this in double stuff I've never seen them in any of my stores it's always just the traditional Oreos but double stuff, mm hmm yeah. Picked up some of these. Hubby's not so much a pretzel fan. He will eat them. But me and all the grandkids love pretzels. So we always have a big stash of pretzels. 
but I'm getting down there. So I saw these and picked them up just for myself, or if the kids want them, of course they can. They're the Snyders of Hanover, America's Pretzel Bakery since 1909, and the, ex the best buy is September of 22. And these are the Sourdough Nibblers, which are delicious, and it's a nine ounce bag. I love these, they're so good. All the Snyders products are amazing. So I think that's a pretty good deal. This doesn't have a price on it though. Sometimes the Snyder's bags will actually have a price stamped on it, but this does not. You know, what you would pay in Walmart or the grocery store. And it's always way more than $1.25. So when I saw those, grabbed those. And I believe that's it for the food. Needed some baggies, you guys know. I talk about these all the time. These are the Shore Fresh. And it is the 20, you get 20 in here, you get less if it has the little red slider. I always look for the 20 count. I don't need the little red slider. These zip just fine without it. And I pick these up when I need them. I don't need them yet, but I figured just grab a pack just to have on hand. I really need to start stocking up on the freezer bags. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a little pouch. I think these are so pretty, and I actually have one of these in my purse as we speak. I just think they're gorgeous. It's This is black with a gold threading through it, gold zipper hardware on it. The zippers always work great, but always check that when you're in the store. And it's just called a cosmetic bag. I've never really used them for cosmetics, cosmetic bags. I use them for everything else. They fit great in my purse. Like I have my, my phone charger and an extra chapstick and my, I have a little thing that I keep my Tylenol and Benadryl and stuff in. I just throw it all in there and then when I need something, I know right where it is. It's not loose at the bottom of my purse that I have to dig for it. And the one I've had in my purse now, it's been in there well over a year and it is holding up great. So I saw this one and this was the only one I saw. So I'm assuming it was just a random leftover from way back in the day, but I love these. They work amazingly well. And oh, that fuzzy will not leave me. And on the inside, it is kind of a um, a smoother, plasticky type fabric that you could wipe out if need be. I wouldn't want to like spill a bottle of foundation in there, but you can wipe them out some. So I think that's excellent. Look how pretty that is. So just grab that. Let me see, which way do I go? Picked up a few more books for the littlest grand lady or any of the kids if they want to read them. And we just thought these were so cute and different. Have never seen these in the store before. And this one says, I love my mommy. Little bear on there. And it does have all the pictures on the back of the, the four, which I believe we got them all. This one says, I love my mommy. I will open it. I won't open them all, but this one I will. And they are made out of the thicker, thicker pages, the thicker cardboard pages, which is excellent for her right now because we picked up a couple of the pop-up books. They're destroyed now. She, she just doesn't quite understand the concept yet, not to pull the, the pictures out, but it just has a little story of loving your mommy. This one says... Love, I love my daddy with the lions. This one is the bears. And then this one is the bunnies and it says, I love my grandma, which my grandkids don't call me grandma. They call me Nani. That's, that's my name. That's why I go by that name on my channel because I just, I love it. And very, very happy and blessed to be a Nani. And this one says, I love my grandpa. So we got all four in the collection, and that is very rare that we actually find a whole collection of books. The hubby actually found these, and we love to read to her when she comes, and now she reads to us. She And she has been for quite a while now. She'll open the books, and she says a lot of A. She'll open the pages, and it's A, 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 and that's wonderful. So yeah, we picked up those four for her. I don't know if we'll give these to her now or if these will go away for, for Christmas. Not go away, but get put away. And then I found some more of the tights. I think the last pair, the only pair that I have found so far that I picked up were a size medium large. And these, this one is an extra large. And these are very similar to the ones I picked up 
almost like a very tight fishnet. I don't know if you can see that very well. I believe the ones I picked up in the size medium slash large were kind of more open fishnet. These are much tighter, but these were the size large. So I know these will definitely fit me. So I grabbed those to have here on hand because you know, it's getting closer to the, the holiday season when you're gonna be dressing up more and these type of things are just nice to have. They don't go bad, you know, pick them up and have them. And then they had these and I thought this was pretty interesting. Hmm, that's not what I was thinking these were. These are just tights and it says seasonless light coverage and these were in the extra large. And I know those will fit me too. They just, they won't be very tight, but that's okay. So yeah, these are the, and it says, they're the Hanes brand, by the way, seasonless tight. So apparently you can wear these all year and be comfortable. So I picked up one of each of those. It's really weird how stores, you know, one store will have one size, another store will have another size, but these were in the same store. So. I just grabbed one, one of each and these were the fishnet type and these are an actual like solid tights. I don't know if you can see that very well, but you can't see through them. So these will be nice in the winter time. So I grabbed one of each of those and then guys, I found it again. I didn't buy just one, two, three, I bought four. That is how much I love this foot lotion. Pitiful, but I couldn't pass it up. I could not. This is an amazing deal. This is the Freeman brand and it's for feet, flirty feet, cracked heel foot treatment. It says repairing with neem oil and shea butter, a 3.4 fluid ounce squeeze tube. I love this stuff. It works amazingly well. When I get out of the shower, I just go ahead and I lightly dry off my feet. I put some of this on and put on a pair of socks and just mosey around the house for the evening. The next morning, your feet feel so nice and moisturized and I don't have cracked heels, so I can't verify for that type of thing, but my feet do get dry. I am on my feet all day long. I am in and out of the house with socks, without socks, shoes, whatever. My feet get dried out and I love foot lotions. This is by far the best foot lotion I have ever used in my life. So when I saw it, I grabbed four. It's excellent. If you guys see this, please pick it up and try it. You know, if you don't have foot issues, pick it up for somebody in your life that, that does have dry, cracked feet, whatever. Put it away for Christmas, make a gift basket. Just, this is amazing. So yeah, I think that's enough on foot lotion. So anyway, guys, that was it. Kind of a small, excuse me, kind of a small haul. I'm starting to hiccup. I don't know what does that. I think it's just from talking so much and sucking in air. I end up getting hiccups in almost every video. But anyway, if you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.